Okay, document design students. This is a prank memo that's just a couple of tweaks away from being an A+. Uh, I've got it open in draft mode with the styles task pane open on the right and the draft mode set to show me the heading on the left. You can see it starts out logically with the title at the top. It has a message header style for the block. Here's one tweak we're going to work on which is there's a created style called style2 uh, that really ought to be named consistently with the message header and we'll figure out how to do that. Uh, then goes down to heading 1, body text, all the vertical spacing controlled by the styles. Uh, list number as a really advanced thing. I might uh, ask a student to change this to list number or list number 1, uh, but that's really uh, a point we can dispense with. Uh, for now, there aren't very many workplaces where somebody would be concerned about that unless they were translating this to XML and they had uh, a set of list numbering styles so that it needed to be logically ordered uh, with the first one because if you name it with the third one, it implies that there's a one and a two in front of it. All right, uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to change this to something related to message header or something related to the styling feature, which is the line underneath it. Uh, there's also a character style lacking in the document, but we can quickly create that. Uh, to create the, uh, make this a message header, there actually is a style called uh, uh, message header last, which would work for this, but the problem is uh, that when you try to apply it, uh, well, it's going to change the formatting, and you're going to have to apply the line. Uh, if you go in here, as we often do, and select the paragraph tag, which you can't see because I don't have it turned on, but I'll turn on the paragraph tag. The paragraph tag contains the formatting, so you can select the line or the paragraph tag. If you select the line without the paragraph tag, you're not really... If I just select that uh, to manipulate styles, you may not be picking up all of the information you want. But you select the paragraph tag you're sure of getting it if I go over to message header last and say apply uh, or update um, it looks like I'm okay all right so the style 2 is still in the document but it's not being used uh, I thought that might give me problems but it looks like I'm all right um, the only difference is this I actually like it being uh, bold because I think the subject line is the most important uh, line of the message header block. So uh, all I'm going to do perhaps is what would happen if you did that. The, you can't apply it to just that because it's a paragraph style. So you have to create a character style. All right. um, to create a character style, I could just format it. The way I want, uh, and go up here and say, uh, let's just say. Well, in fact, if you just you have a character style down here called strong, so suppose we put strong on that. All right, we're okay. If it's only bold, uh, there's no difference from just doing character styling, except that you are coding the information at a level that would be translated. Uh, appropriately if using systems like XML. Um, but suppose we wanted to go into strong and add more than just the bold onto it. Uh, you you see that the style is based on underlying properties, i.e. it's going to apply the bold to whatever your your format already is. Uh, but maybe you want to go in and add a little bit of difference to the character spacing. That's often something that Microsoft likes to do. Um, for this type of thing. So that makes it a little more condensed, makes it stand out a little more. Okay, so now you've got your character style, uh, you've changed this, and the only thing I might do is put a little more space underneath that. So I go to right click, modify, uh, border, and then there's a box you often don't see called options down here under borders and shading. So I can go to the one that says bottom and add a little more space there. And that looks a little better to me. Okay, now it's an A+.